Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video we are going to be comparing ClickUp and Trello. We will be taking a look at the differences between these tools, the pricing, the features, what they are good for and overall which is going to be the best for you. Starting out with the pricing, I will leave links for both Trello and ClickUp in the description of this video and these links will allow you to sign up for the free plan on both of these tools. Now if we take a look at the free plan with both of these, both of these have fantastic fantastic free plant. So these are free forever plans. This is not like a 30 day free trial. This is a free forever plan. With ClickUp, we get 100 megabytes of storage, which actually can be quite limiting, depending on if you have a lot of files and documents that you are sharing with your team. Whereas with Trello, this is unlimited. We have unlimited storage and the only limitation is a maximum of 10 megabytes per file. ClickUp is like the opposite where we have a limitation on the storage, but there is no limit to how many megabytes per file we can upload. So we can upload images, videos, anything that we would like to. Just sticking on storage for a second, ClickUp definitely wins this because look at this. We have with the unlimited plan, completely unlimited storage, unlimited file size, unlimited everything. Whereas Trello, we do still have unlimited storage, but this jumps up to 250 megabytes per file. So for images or files, this doesn't really matter. If you are uploading videos, then this is definitely a win for ClickUp. Aside from that though, on the free plans, we get unlimited cards. On Trello, we can create up to 10 boards. And with ClickUp, we basically get unlimited tasks, everything else that we need. So what I would say is definitely start out with the free plan on both of these tools and just take it from there. If you need to upgrade later down the line, then for ClickUp, this is going to be $7 per month with Trello, $5 per month with the standard and the premium is $10 on Trello and $12 on ClickUp. So very similar pricing. ClickUp is slightly more expensive, but definitely not a deciding factor. Now with the pricing aside, when we actually jump into these tools, this is a huge difference between these because Trello can essentially only do one thing. I mean, the main thing that we are looking for in a project manager, which is actually create a project manager. Whereas ClickUp can do this, but we have a bunch of other features in here that I will show you. But let's start out with Trello. Essentially, all we would do is we would go in here. We can create a new workspace. And let's just call this YouTube content. In here, we can now go ahead and actually start creating our project manager. So let's say we have to do. Let's change this to recorded. And then we can have edited and then we can have done. We can just move these around like this. Then to actually create the tasks within these, we can add a card right here. And let's say that this video is going to be ClickUp versus Trello. Then we can go in here and let's say we need to record a Trello tutorial and a ClickUp tutorial as well. So these are the basic tasks and the basic cards. And then all we would do is flick these along into these different sections and we can keep track of where all of these videos or these tasks are. Now we can take this to the next level and go into more detail by clicking on edit card and then we can open this up and this is where we can really add customization to this. So we could add a description right here and show my team exactly what I need them to do. So in this description, we could give them a checklist and say one, a script, video, two, record video, you get the idea, right? Then what we can also do is we can add members to this and we can actually add people who we are going to assign to this project. So I'm just going to assign myself right here. But if I had more members on my board, I could add them in as well. We can go over here and we can add labels, which is essentially going to color this. So let's say that everything in this to do section is going to be red. We can add that right there. And now if we go ahead and save this and back out, we can see this has the red color. We can go down and we can add like a checklist right here. So instead of doing the description this way, we could add a checklist and in here we could say script video, uh, da, 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 and then we could just come down here and check this off as we go throughout. We can also add dates as well. So if we have a start and an end date, we could say this is started today and this is going to be due on Friday and then we can click on save. And just like that, you can see this is really starting to come along and we have more information in here. So this is essentially what we can do in Trello 
is just going to help us keep track of everything. And then if we do want to actually drop this down and see the different views, like the calendar, the table view, the dashboard view, well, we need to go ahead and upgrade and actually move from the free forever plan that we are on to a trial period of one of the paid plans. Now, this is where ClickUp is really better in my opinion. We can come in here and we can just go ahead and create a new board right here. Let's call this the same YouTube content. We can then go in here and create the workspace, go over to board and look at this. We have pretty much the exact same layout that we do here on Trello. So we can go in here and change the task names just like we did on Trello. And then we can add tasks to this. So once again, let's call this ClickUp versus Trello. We can add that in right there. Then we can add a second one. Let's just say Trello tutorial. Then once these are added in, rather than on Trello where we have to click in and then open this up, we do everything from right inside here. So not only can we click and drag these along, just like we could before. But in this area, we can add an assignee. So I will add Jamie to this. We can then click down and add a start and end date. So let's say today until Friday, just like that. We can also add a priority to this task. If we do want to open this up though, we can click right here on in list. And look at this. This is now going to open up this bigger area where we can go in, we can add like a time estimate, we can time track, which is something we can't do on ClickUp. So let's say that I want my team to click on add time, is now going to start recording the time. So they could click on start when they start the task, and then when they finish, they just click right here. We can then see it time tracked was one minute on this date. We can also go over and in here we can add subtasks, which is very similar to the checklist that we see on Trello. So in this area, as project managers, as you can see, these tools are very, very similar, right? However, if we look over on this left-hand side, ClickUp has a lot of things that Trello doesn't. An example is Docs. So we can open up Docs inside of ClickUp. We can then create a doc. And in here, we now have a document. So we could maybe go in and we could title this uh, Trello Tutorial Script. And in here, we can now go ahead and start typing this script out. And this is all going to be inside of ClickUp. Another thing that I actually forgot to mention is if we pop back into this area, we can view all of these boards and lists and all of these different layouts on the free plan. Where on Trello, we have to go in. And if we want to change the board view, we need to upgrade. Well, with ClickUp, this is all available on the free plan. So I can go in here and let's say I want to view this as a calendar. I can open up the calendar view and look at this. I can see Trello versus ClickUp from the start date to the end date is going to be on the calendar. And we have all of these different types of views. So we've already covered docs. I mean, dashboards, we can just see where everything is. So we can see all of our documents right here. We can see favorites created by me, everything like this. Clips is very interesting. So clips is essentially what you can use to record your screen. So we can go up to record clip. We can select the microphone, which I can't right now as I'm already recording, but we select the microphone. We select what we want to record. Then we can click on start recording right here. And then we can record the screen. So I could go in and let's say I want to record this right now. Maybe I'm doing something for a client or I'm creating an SOP that I want to share with my team. Well, I can record my audio and I can record my screen and have this all in here. We then have timesheets, which is essentially just time tracking, where in the time tracking, we can see how long we spent on each day for all of the tasks and who did this. And then some other things that we have is goals. So we can go in here and we can set goals. We can choose who the goal is for, what the goal is. We can set this all right here. We also have whiteboards. So if I want to create a whiteboard, uh, let's just call this that. We can create. And in here, we can now go ahead and we can add these tasks in. We can also access whiteboards. And in here, we can create like mind maps. We can map things together. We can map projects out. So that's another thing that we get inside of ClickUp that we don't with Trello. So overall, as project management tools, Trello and ClickUp are very similar when it actually comes to project management. However, ClickUp has a bunch of features that Trello does not have, like the document area, the timesheet and ability to track time, the ability to record your screen, and most importantly, the ability to change the board view on the free forever plan. So really it comes down to, will you actually use these tools? Do you need these different 
different board views on the free plan. If you do, then ClickUp is definitely the best option, even though it is like $2 extra per month. If you are only using this as a project manager and you don't mind about not being able to switch board views on the free plan, then Trello might be the best option as it is slightly cheaper. Either way, that is my comparison on Trello versus ClickUp. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.